welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. Hold on. There you go. Much better. Oh my gosh. I had to clean my lens real quick. But anyway, it's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And we are back with another Get Fit With Me series, Yoga Edition. We are continuing with this 30 day challenge. And um, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and state this because I don't think I stated it in the other videos before. The 38 challenges for me are not going to be up at the same time as hers, clearly, because uh, when I tell you I have been struggling with uploading my videos on YouTube, um, I don't know what's happening. My videos are ready, but YouTube is ready for my videos. So I've had to upload quite a few of my videos multiple times because they're not uploading. So yeah, the timeliness of it all might not be together. Um, I even missed one of my videos being loaded on time. Um, so I don't actually have a video up for Saturday, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. We're going to try to get back on the schedule and try and keep having, keep, we're going to keep making the effort. But also you might know something else. Oh yeah, your girl back back. I'm back back. So, you know, I don't know about anyone else also, but I am one of those people when my hair changes, it's a new energy. Speaking of, <laughs> that is what this practice for yoga is today about. It is day three and it is energy root chakra. And I think I've been telling you my energy has been low lately. And I think it's just because I was go, 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 go. Like the month of May, when I tell you we were working this month, we were working this month, but this is a new month, new day. Let's get to it. So we're gonna start the practice today in a comfortable seated position. After being in the um, seated position, working on our breathing for the first couple of minutes, we then are going to um, do start some stretching off by um, doing side stretches on each side. From doing the side stretching on each side, we then are going to start windshield wipering our legs. Once we've completed windshield wipering our legs for a little bit, we now are going to go into a tabletop position. What we're going to do is a little bit of cat and cow. From the cat and cow, we then are going to do our first um, extended child's pose. Can 
From the extended child's pose, we're now going to kind of do a variation where we do kind of a cat and cow, but instead of it being your traditional cat and cow, it's going to incorporate the extended child's pose. After we complete a couple rounds of that, we are going to transition now to our first downward facing dog. From the downward facing dog, we are then going to then make our way to the front of the mat by first moving one leg up and then the other or jumping to the front. From the front of the mat, um, we now are going to transition um, to standward forward bend. And from the standward forward bend, we will then um, rise to rise up to a mountain pose. mountain pose we from the mountain pose we are then going to be um, doing a stammer forward bend and from there um, going into a crescent lunge and we're gonna end up of course doing that on both sides the crescent lunge that is From the crescent low lunge, we then transition to a high lunge, and from a high lunge, we make our way to a reverse triangle. From there, we make our way back to a low lunge, and then we're gonna make our way back to the front of the mat um, with the, um, um, sorry, um, board bend, and then from there, a chair pose. And that, I believe that is what concludes the first bit of the sequence, and then we'll just do the same thing on the other side.
We complete the sequence both sides we do make our way back to the forward to the front of the mat where we are doing the standing forward bend and from there we're going to transition over where we're going to be doing a side lunge and the side lunge will take place on each side as you can tell my hips are pretty tight so i don't i can't really get very low on the side lunges but you basically do the best of your ability when it comes to that
Once we do that side lunge on both sides, we then do end up making our way back to the front of the mat, um, doing a stammer forward bend, and then transitioning over to a mountain pose. As you can tell with this practice, a lot of this is doing a lot of stammer forward bending and a lot of mountain poses. So, um, yeah. Um, now we are, after we have made our way back to the same report, then transitioning over into a goddess pose or a Madasna, um, sorry, not goddess pose, goddess squat or Madasna squat, I think is what it's called. But anyway, um, yeah, so we're squatting for a little bit now. I know you could totally see why I'm not wearing much in this practice today. Um, I was sweating a lot and it was probably one of the first days where um, I practiced yoga indoors in a while and it's been in the 80s and I still was being stubborn about turning on my ear. So yeah, still have that. So I basically made it into kind of like a heated yoga session. From the goddess squat, we do make our way to seat position where we're going to end up doing a um, standing forward bend um, with our legs out. So this was one of the last poses that we have for this practice. You either can conclude it by doing um, a corpse pose, aka Shavasana, or the meditation pose, or a comfortable seated position. I opted for the meditation pose at this time. So um, yeah, that pretty much does conclude the practice. So that concludes the yoga practice for today. I will rate that a solid 9.5. That was great. I <laughs> I needed it. Um, I I think I've mentioned this shared in probably previous videos. I've been feeling really sluggish lately, and I think it's just all the everything I did in May just kind of caught up with me. And now I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, but I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I have a half marathon tomorrow and then I should be wrapped up for a little bit. I am gonna be training for my 50K though, which is larger than a marathon. But I, ironically, when I start doing ultra training, I actually run less. I run four times a week. And I'm also have a triathlon sprinkled in there too. So it'll give me an excuse to bike more, which that's like actually one of my favorite activities. And then also we'll start swimming, which is also why this hair that was not my hair. Well, it was my hair, I just paid for it. It had to go because if I'm gonna be in swimming season, I basically need to be natural and just be able to navigate that um, because I have extra things I do in my hair, which I'll share that I think on this channel for a Go Ready to Go Outside series for when I do swim a lot um, because as most people know, chlorine is not good for your hair. So I do things to try to combat it and more moisturize it even more than usual so there's that um anyway um but back to this video it definitely was a 9.5 i liked that um i like that everyone every single challenge we've done so far we've done completely different moves different routines they haven't been quite the same there's been a couple of what we did before sprinkled in there but um with energy it was really, really good. I actually do really feel like I have more energy now, which was like for me the whole point. And don't mind my hair, it's not falling out. It's just, this is what happens when you um, have your hair in braids or any type of protective style for a while. You're shedding, my hair is shedding still. And I also haven't washed my hair yet. <laughs> um, I will be washing it shortly, uh, clearly, but I want to, um, for, well, <laughs> I'm gonna wash it actually after I 
get finished doing some things today. Um, Cause I think I am gonna do like some type of aerodynamic hairstyle for the run tomorrow. I'll probably have it up and have it, um, yeah, I'm gonna have it up or do something, I don't know. Anyway, um, again, this is not about that. It's about this video. So anyway, um, the other thing I do like and liked about this was a lot of lunges which my hips have been definitely tight lately. And I could tell, you probably could tell too, cause those side lunges for me were not given what needed to be gave. But um, yeah, like I said, it was very, very good routine. But also maybe the reason why I'm rambling can't stay on subject is, hi, right, your girl's hungry. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, definitely continue this challenge with me. Um, tomorrow's will be agility. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you next time. Bye.